you are going to watch porn. Stop on your tracks and go back. Without a doubt, I've come to realize, and I know from the depths of my heart, that the Holy Spirit is my best friend. The Holy Spirit will be your best friend. The Lord will never leave us nor forsake us. It doesn't matter. Even if we go through hell, the Lord does not leave us. Not that the Holy Spirit will abandon us. We are the ones that are bad on the Lord. It's not the Lord that abandons us. And uh, most of the times He will be with us, even in the corridors of hell. I know this too well because when the cyber cafes began increasing in uh, in my city that's when the boys were getting interested in going to do the surfing and the browsing and most of times after browsing football and a few other things would always end up surfing the pond. The average boy is very interested in looking at the private parts of a woman I may never understand why this is so, but most of the boys are fascinated by the naked woman. I've gotten confessions after confessions, and I'm not surprised because I was part of the men who are open and sincere. They know that they are fascinated by the naked woman and that's where the idea of phone comes sometimes they don't want to actually check the gross bondage and uh, uh, sadistic stuff that goes on in the porn world by some demented guys they sometimes just want to watch the nudes and that will be enough for them so here i was and uh, i would go to a cyber cafe and even if i was not planning to watch porn the lord knew me more than i knew myself what used to happen is that um, in the history of the people that were in the cyber cafe before myself if they had uh, browsed and served the porn pipes their pages of history would always be left because the people that were manning the cyber cafes those days never knew any better on how to instantly delete the history of the people that had come before so i would always be tempted to click on the urls that i would find over there and you find something to do with like maybe uh, sex ocean young nude girls clicking a link after link a link after link after link and within three hours you had watched so much porn that even your mind would not contain it and deeper and further and deeper and wider and longer and you would find that you have stayed in the cyber for five hours the Lord knows us so much that even uh, before a thought comes into our minds, He already knows it. Before our words comes through our lips, the Lord already knows it. So because the Lord knew me so much and He knew really deep inside the heart of her, I didn't want to do that. And even if I wanted to do that, He knew better than me or than my my motivations of going to the cyber even when i thought i just want to go and look at my email because he knew better than me anytime i began having the thought of going to the cyber at the belly where the holy spirit resides and it's true for every child of god whenever I would start walking towards the cyber even if I'd convinced my mind that it would just be an email I'm going to check because the Lord knew me better than myself hidden behind the motivation of going to check for my mail there was the lure to watch porn so the Lord would interpret it for me and put it straight before me you're going to watch porn Stop on your tracks and go back. You will not be able to resist the temptation once you're there. So go back. And most of the times, anytime I ignored the sinking feeling at the pit of my stomach, I ended up going and suffering the pawn pipes. 
So was the moral of my confession that in case you ever feel restless, you lose your peace, you lose your joy at your belly, and you feel this sinking, deep feeling at the pit of your stomach, the Lord is telling you, don't go there, don't go there, and do not resist. So nowadays, if I am just about to do something crazy, and that sinking feeling comes at the pit of my stomach it's a big alarm it's a big warning run for your life it is so for many children of god never ignore that feeling it's called the inner witness is ever so alert he's the sure voice of god for you to desist from that which will cost you your prayers, cost you your intimacy with God. Because any time you rebel, you have to deal with it later with not having the ability to hear the Lord so fast as it was when He warned you. So part of our warning comes from this area of the belly. Jesus said, out of thy belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Those warnings sometimes come out of our belly. May the Lord warn us when you are just about to get into trouble. Anytime you feel something like that, just stop and ask, Lord, what is it? What is it? And if you don't just try to rationalize it away, you will get your warning right there and the Lord will have a way in your life. May the Lord bless you. May he do you good and learn to listen, learn to obey the inner witness always. If the thing is of God, the inner witness will speak with joy and a velvet feeling deep down there, something feeling so sweet. If something is not of God, the inner witness at your belly around there will speak through restlessness, a sad, dark, deep feeling a sinking feeling, a lack of peace, a restlessness. And you will know that that thing you are just about to do, that decision you're just about to do, is not of God. God bless you. Share the message and keep it here. Amen and amen.